free guesses to work out where we are now. What do you guys think of the view? It's pretty nice. It's okay. It's, on, <laughs> it's only okay. What would make it excellent, Violet? A giant meerkat cat sloth sitting on top of Ayers Rock, Uluru. But I think this is a perfect spot to uh, watch the sunset show and maybe have a drink and some nibbles. See you soon. up our bikes and we're now on our bike ride Woohoo! smile for the camera camping tip number five and for those who are paying attention I did miss posting one video which was I think tip three always bring a fly net from Micah um, or his tip and uh, tip number five is always check where you put the tent peg bag with the drill in it so you don't drive off with it sitting on the camper trailer and then lose it that happened a couple of days ago and I had to wait to make this video because guys said it wasn't funny for at least a couple of days anyway we've got some backup tent pegs um, we had a spare drill we don't have a spare battery that was in that bag waiting to be charged but you know that's okay live and learn but yeah always check where the tent peg bag is before driving off where are we this morning guys um Katajuda for the Olgas the Olgas we're gonna do the Valley of the Winds Walk, and it is windy. Well, the wind has beaten us today. The wind chill makes it quite cool. Not a lot of fun for anyone, so we got up to the top of the 
first look out in the Valley of the Winds and it is suddenly windy and the wind is cold but we still get to see all of this. So we're going to head back down, get in the car, we'll go down to the gorge and do the walk up the gorge as well. We've come down to Walter Gorge. I think that's... Oh yeah, it's going to be windy everywhere. We might have to check the uh, forecast and see if we can move things around with it cause, so we don't have the wind for Kings Canyon. Into the sun. Yay. How does that feel, yeah, Mummy? Mum's stolen Micah's jacket to keep the wind off her. The wind has been a bit blowy for the last couple of days. Been snow in New South Wales in the Highlands. Hasn't been snowing here, but it has been quite cool in the mornings. So we decided to extend our stay at Uluru here for a day. And that way, looking at the weather forecast, hopefully when we get to Kings Canyon and do the work in, so we'll drive there tomorrow, do the walk the day after, the winds won't be blowing at 50 k's an hour uh, while we're doing our rim walk. Cross fingers, that's the hope. So today, Rani and Violet uh, did some dot painting. And here's Violet's ones, which are very cool. A big koala and a little koala. And the big koala's got an air's rock and the southern cross and the moon. A little koala, it's got his dots and Rani's are in the car but she did a platypus and, and an echidna um, while well, Mike and I played chess and it was a close fought battle but I pipped him in the end so and then we went and saw some uh, did some free activities they have around Uluru did a uh, bush food ex um, talk and, and another astronomy talk so that was quite a good uh, sort of lazy day uh, it's really nice in the sun it's really cool when you're in the wind anyway off to Kings Canyon tomorrow we're heading out of Uluru campsite to say goodbye to Uluru and hello to Kings Canyon today everyone say bye Uluru bye, bye Uluru. Uluru see ya three hours from Uluru we get to what a rock! Uh, how do we pronounce this? You reckon? What a rock! 
Wataka? Wataka National Park, Kings Canyon. So, I always use the word so. I know you do. I've been trying to cut that out. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was like, oh, and there it is. Did I, did I leave one in, did I? No, I was just waiting for you to start this video. Oh. With the so. So. For Kings Canyon. <laughs> We're at Kings Canyon. <laughs> Going for a late afternoon walk. Burn some energy off. Been in the car for a couple of hours, three hours up from Ayers Rock. Uluru, sorry. Um, and we get all this awesome afternoon light. Uh, this afternoon we're just going to do, just going to do, gonna do, going to do the uh, creek walk up the centre of the canyon. Nice and flat and easy, an hour return, and then tomorrow we'll do the rim walk. rock wallabies just up the path in front of us. I've always known that feral chapman's. There they go, scampering off into the bushes. Seen out of the natural habitat which is in front of a screen. <laughs> this is what we have to look forward to tomorrow morning. Up, 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 up. And across the rim. Apparently it's about 500 steps to the top. We'll see how Rani's knees take it. And the kids. How are you feeling? Halfway. How are you going with the heights, lady? Um. It is very high up, isn't it? Very high up. How'd you go with the walk up the hill? Um, it was a bit <laughs> steep. There were a lot of things that go up. Um, steps. Steps. <laughs> I'm but, tiring. But you're up now. Yeah, not now. It's fine now. Cool. Yeah? How are you finding the walk? Um, yeah. You're a bit hungry, are you, this morning? You need, didn't have enough eggs and bacon? No, I had enough, I just wanted Yeah. <laughs> you just want a snack.
other than the brief moments of petrifying fear when I think one of my kids is going to go too close to the edge this is really cool all this great landscape pagodas and rocks and cliff edges <laughs> with big signs about don't fall off What's this? Really cool. I think it's pretty. I think someone's almost broken. You tired, Violet? Yeah, you just want to have a sleep? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a good walk. We're on our downward, downward journey to the car park now. Well, that was six k's of... Six k's? Six k's. Pretty hard walking. Well, I put a five right here. In your mouth. <laughs> we gotta do that one. We gotta do it again. <laughs> Mum had a fly in her mouth. <laughs> How are you feeling, Micah, after that one? I'm wrecked. <laughs> Mum? I think I should say 6Ks feels like 10. Well, like they, a... they, they did say it's a category 5 climb or yeah. walk. Yeah, my knees are. How about you, Violet? <laughs> Come on, I think someone's a little broken. Knee, sore hip flexors, small, uh, sore hip flexors, sore heels, sore knees. We'll go back and we'll have a restful afternoon, I reckon. We saw a couple of dingoes last night running through the campsite. And Micah and Violet and Rani have gone off to the bathrooms the long way, hoping that they'll uh, see some more tonight. But... Not sure. Violet, did you see any tonight? No, not yet. Micah said he saw one before. Apparently they're quite active in this campsite. So we're leaving Kings Canyon. I had a late night last night. I sat up to wait for a dingo and I wasn't disappointed. One trotted through our campsite at about 9.30 last night while everyone else was asleep. Uh, so we're saying goodbye to Kings Canyon. Bye bye Kings Canyon! Bye. And we're heading off to Fink River, two mile campsite today. Through the Marini Loop.